Today is August 21st, 2017, and we're here in Eastern Oregon for the total solar eclipse that's going to start in like an hour. So I've got my protective solar glasses, and don't worry, I got you a pair too. We're up! You're gonna double them up? Double up! Nope, can't see it. There's no sun. Oh yeah, Chaz's mom got us these great shirts. Except, we're kind of more like here, and the eclipse is there. And you dropped her, your glasses. What do you, <laughs> what do you think of the eclipse? I don't think it started yet. It hasn't. You lost trash in the, on the ground. All the police. Jeez. <laughs> Edgy. So do you have any eclipse facts to share with us? Um, not particularly. Nothing happens. It gets a little bit colder. It's darker. Um, not a good time to practice any sort of satanic rituals or also it's not going to like blast a hole open in the ocean and release titans. That's that's when the planets align, not when the moon, the sun, and earth align. It's different. So how has it been here in eastern Oregon? Hot. Hot, but not crowded. No, not at all. Well, Ever it is crowded in... Prineville. Prineville. Prineville, um, Salem, it sounds like. But we're in a tiny enough town that uh, nobody's here. Even though everything in the hotels are booked, it's not... Yep. Every hotel has no vacancy here, but you can't tell, like, the traffic seems the exact same. It's, it's always been, it's like, slightly heavier, but, I mean, you could say that's the fair that's going on, too. Uh -huh. I've been here for, we left on the 18th expecting heavy traffic and found none, so it's been very nice. We've been doing a lot of Pokemon Go, and we'll probably do some raids later. I wanted those for my camera, dingus. <laughs> now I'm ready. You really can't see anything but the sun when you wear these, so let's see. Oh, it works. You can totally see the sun. I need to like tape this to my camera. So you recently took a class. What kind of uh, eclipse facts can you give us for today? Okay, well the remarkable thing about the eclipse is not necessarily that the moon is passing between the earth and the sun, but it's the fact that the sun and the moon appear the same size in the sky when they're two very different sized objects out in space. It just so happens that the sun is the perfect size and distance away, and so is the moon, for them to appear the exact same size in the sky. Impressive. So does that mean that when they cross at all times that they'll that the moon will block out the sun perfectly, or...? Well, no, I don't think so. That one I'm not sure about. I don't think that's true, because then we'd have eclipses. Well, it's an annular eclipse. An annular eclipse. Yeah. That's when it happens in the morning when it's rising. Yep, but the sun appears bigger than the moon. Oh, that's why. And then, um, if you're not standing in the right spot on Earth, then it won't appear that they're completely blocking each other out either. Which is why we drove all the way out here to Eastern Oregon so that we would see a total eclipse for like, how many minutes? One minute, 27 seconds, I believe. Yeah. So it's pretty neat. And you think about like a lot of these coincidences, like the fact that Earth has an atmosphere is a pretty big coincidence too because so many things have to go right for Earth to have this perfect at atmosphere and temperature for us to live. Mm -hmm. And then the fact that life popped up at all and stuff, is pretty remarkable. Tell us about why we can't just stare at the sun. Is that a question? Yeah, why can't we just look straight at the sun without protection? Because it's a giant ball of nuclear fusion and it's really bright and it hurts your eyes because your eyes don't know what to do with that. What is the sun? Oh, I can tell you more eclipse facts. Okay, I'm gonna put on my, my sunglasses for you guys. So here's the sun, 
And what we can see is called the photosphere. It's the surface of the sun. Inside there, there is a core. And then if you can see, there's like a big halo around it. That's the corona. And then there's an even tinier little ring around the outside. And that is the chromosphere. And when the moon crosses over the sun, what we'll be able to see is the chromosphere and the corona. And the chromosphere is made up almost entirely of hydrogen, so it's gonna look pink. Once it's a total eclipse, we can take our glasses off, but not any sooner than that. Actually, see it shrink as you go. This is such cool lighting. People are whooping and hollering. You hear them down there at the college. Yeah. <laughs> Good for them. Look how dark it is around us now. It's so cool. <laughs> you can look at it now. Not right away, but you can see the ring. Oh, you can. Just gotta block that one little part. It's a diamond ring. There it goes. There it is, Kitsy. Oh my god. I gotta take this off. Look at that. <laughs> there it is. I love that cheering. That's so cool. <laughs> Are you getting it? You get, took the lens off? Perfect. Yeah. Is it totality now? This is totality. I kind of want to show the rest of the yard and what the lighting looks like, but I think it wouldn't show up very well on my camera. There it is, though. <laughs> I'm trying to do it with my camera, and it's like, that's pointless. I'm just going to look at the sun. There it is. That is. And there's a star up there. You can see it. Oh, are you sure that's a star? It, it could be it a planet. It might be Venus. Isn't that beautiful, Kitsy? Oh, it is gorgeous. So that's the corona. Is that the east? And on my camera, mm -hmm. I can see the little pink um, chromosphere. See the chromosphere and the corona. Even that star is changing. That's we're. I think it's Venus. Venus, over there, Kitsy. It's almost over though. It so. is. Oh yeah, I can kind of see the diamond coming back. Oh wow! Look at that. Oh wow! That came quick. It just bursts out like that. Oof! Can't look at it anymore. <laughs> so what did you think of the eclipse? I thought it was very pretty. And. Huh? Which way are you looking? Describe the lighting as, um, as there is a total eclipse. Um, not proper for vlogging. Uh. I wanted to catch it, but I didn't think that it would look right on camera because it would just look all dark. Yeah. But it wasn't like night dark. It was like twilight or... Yeah, it was... It wasn't quite like... Like it was brighter than a full moon. But it was definitely... It's definitely darker than like sunset, you know. It's also it's very pretty. Like we we had like a like an A from the Corona like this, and it was very it was real nice to look at. What did you think of the of the totality, the eclipse? I wish I had looked at it longer because it was really really short. Like we sat there for probably an hour for the whole eclipse, and then. The temperature dropped and then it was like all of a sudden it was it was a full eclipse and it only lasted for like a minute 
and I felt like I didn't spend enough of that minute looking up because I just wanted to see if I was getting it on camera. But I don't think I'll ever forget how it looked because it was really pretty and it wasn't like anything. It was like, it's not like there was a black hole and then a ring around it. It was like there was just a patch of sky and a ring around it, you know? <laughs> it was really cool. So I'm glad that I came here to see it. And I hope that you all get to see one in your lifetime. Because you have about... 563 million years. Yeah, you've got that, that long to see one. <laughs> And you won't live that long, so you've got, like, your life to see one. Well, as Neil deGrasse Tyson said, these happen about every two years. Yeah. So, but yeah, if you believe... It was, like, 90 degrees when we came out here, and now it's, like, 69-ish. And I'm getting goosebumps because it's kind of cold. And I'm wearing so, much, so many layers of sunscreen that my skin's, like, damp. <laughs> it's worth... Now we're going to go have Eclipse tacos, because that's incredibly cute. I'm, I'm hungry. <laughs> Just gonna keep, keep, okay. <laughs> you zoom in on the sun. 